नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओ पार्थय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि अंबत्वासंधा भगवदगीते भगवद्वेषिणी ओ भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू पार्थ द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस शावर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डिजम कंटेंट इन योर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माय अफेक्शनेट मदर द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ रीबर्थ आई मेडिटेट अपॉन दी कृष्ण वंदना वसुदेव सुत कंसचाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु सन् ऑफ वसुदेव द स्लेयर ऑफ कंस एंड चाणूर एक्स्ट्रीम डिलाइट फॉर मदर देवकी ओ लॉर्ड कृष्ण द सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स माय सैल्यूटेशन Shrimad Bhagavad Gita the Moksha Sanyasa Yoga 18th adhyay and Shri Krishna is so beautifully uh, explaining to us that how we can attain liberation through renunciation how we can attain moksha through sanyasa through tyaga but what is to be uh, given up what is to be renounced is it the work that comes to us it is whatever we have to do that should we give up shri krishna says no way it is not that you give up everything you leave your household and go to forest and caves and then you will get liberation after that kind of sanyasa that is not what shri krishna is telling us shri krishna says duty you must do whatever duty comes to you whatever assignment whatever project comes to you work upon it in most dedicated manner most sincerely most honestly put in all your best efforts but don't get attached to the work that is the key point that shri krishna teaches us that without any attachment towards what we are doing we should be able to perform it in the best possible manner outcome leave it to the lord don't wait for the outcome whether it is a successful venture or it is a failure don't worry about it that is the lord's outlook because you are just an instrument doing that work Lord has chosen us to do that work, and Sri Krishna says, just considering it to be the Lord's work, you are an agent, you are an instrument in doing that work. Do it in a detached manner. And second, most important thing, Sri Krishna said that don't desire any fruits of action. Have no desire for fruits of action. The you have no right. You you it is first of all it is not your work. It is not your duty. It is assigned to you. You have been assigned to do that duty. That duty is of the Lord's. So, the right for the fruit also is the Lord's. Where are you involved in getting the fruit of that action? So these are the. This is what the real tyaga is. Now Sri Krishna says it is not so easy that I tell and you start uh, uh, adopting it. for that you have to prepare yourself simply my telling you won't get into that mode of working without attachment of working without desire for any fruits for that you have to prepare yourself you have to prepare yourself to fit into that particular mode fit into that particular uh, personality that you will not get attached to the work you will not desire for any fruits and sri krishna is now teaching us he is explaining to us that how one does the work the he he told us the influence of the three gunas on each and every aspect of the work getting done the influence of three gunas on the knowledge about doing a work about the karma about the work itself and the karta and then shri krishna said i am also going to tell you about how the buddhi and the dhruti hmm, the intellect and the firmness of mind they determine our attitude of 
getting attached to the work or not. They determine, determine our attitude of whether to desire the fruit of action or not. And now Sri Krishna is uh, uh, in, in, in a very uh, elaborate manner. He is explaining to us about the threefold, three types of buddhis which determine our course of action. Sri Krishna has told us about the Sattvika buddhi which has a very clear cut understanding of what is right, what is wrong. A very perfect clarity on the pairs of opposites and always guiding us. Do this, don't do this. And if we pay heed to that advice, we are on the path of liberation. That is the Sattvika buddhi. Then talking about Rajasik Buddhi, Sri Krishna told us in the previous uh, uh, reading that uh, we, we read that Rajasik Buddhi has distorted view of what is right, what is wrong, has absolutely distorted understanding of what is what ought to be done, what ought not to be done. And Yaya Dharma Madharmam Cha Karyam Cha Karyam Eva Cha A Yathavat Prajanati that the distorted understanding of what is right, what is wrong, that distorted understanding of what ought to be done, what ought not to be done, that puts us in the problem. That puts us in the biggest bondage. And then with that, ayathavat uh, prajanati buddhi sa partha rajasi, that rajasic buddhi makes a person behave in most arrogant manner, in most... Uh, 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 the, 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 the egotistic manner and the outcome is whether I get anything or not that uh, uh, is uh, uh, later but in the process there is injury and harm inflicted upon scores of others so that is what the Rajasik Buddhi is it has a totally distorted view and what I feel is, is always correct that kind of egotistic understanding. I have to do this, means I will do it. I have to get it, I will get it at any cost. So that uh, Rajasik uh, uh, Buddhi also Sri Krishna explained. And now Sri Krishna is explaining us about the Tamasik Buddhi, which is the worst of any kind. Now, uh, we have to uh, make here that the, the Sattvic Buddhi, when is predominant, that person, that personality with the sattvic tendencies, you know, it has all the expertise of doing the thing. It has all the clarity of how the thing is to be done. It has all the clarity of how to do it for the benefit of others. Maybe self-benefit also, but self is absolutely immaterial as far as the sattvic buddhi is concerned. Or rajasic buddhi, I is very, very dominant. Yeah. That I must be satisfied I must enjoy I must have all those pleasures I must have all those riches I must have all those uh, all those uh, the, 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 all that wealth I is the predominant factor in Sattvic it is we in Rajasic it is I and let us see what uh, uh, what way the Tamasic Buddhi now is uh, going to uh, 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 work Adharmam dharma mitiya manyate tamasavruta sarvarthan vipari tanscha buddhi sa partha tamasi. Everything is in doldrums when it comes to the tamasic uh, viewpoint. When it comes to the, 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 the quality of the tamas, everything is absolutely helter skelter. All unwanted things are there in that uh, tamas. That adharmam dharmam iti yamanyate. Hmm, tamasa avruta. The one who is avruta with tamas, one who is covered with tamas, one who is under the influence of tamas, under, under the strong influence of tamas, tamasa avruta. How is the understanding of this, that of that person? Adharmam dharmam iti yamanyate. Hmm? That person always considers adharmam as dharma. Whatever is unrighteous is the thing. There is no righteousness. What is righteousness? What I, whatever is there in adharma, whatever is there in unrighteousness, in wretchedness, that is the dharma for 
this person who is enveloped with tamas tamasavruta manyate adharma dharma mitiya see the most unfortunate uh, uh, scenario in 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 case of this third guna of the prakriti sarvarthan viparinta anscha everything is in the opposite way the the whatever the the, the sattvic buddhi tells whatever the rajasic buddhi tells the tamasic buddhi is absolutely opposite sarvarthan viparita anscha whatever they say is all useless hmm the, the, the all the things are perverted uh, they, they they are looked from the perverted view point and this buddhi sa buddhi sa partha tamasi shri krishna says that buddhi is the tamasic type of buddhi extremely dangerous first of all understanding uh, adharma to be dharma that itself brings the catastrophe that itself brings the most unfortunate circumstances understanding of adharma as dharma what what else can we do then understanding of a uh, non ethical way of living as ethical way of living all the things which are prohibited considering those to be the law of the order considering those to be the code of conduct i must do that and then behaving in that manner sarvarthan viparitanshya everything is perverted for that uh, the, the, that 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 kind of uh, thought process that kind of intellect now what is the outcome of that it is absolutely uh, most unfortunate uh, it is a catastrophic out, uh, outcome so shri krishna uh, cautions us again now now how we have to be aware of the tamasic buddhi to uh, dominate our nature to dominate our understanding that which enveloped in darkness tamasavrutam it is enveloped in tamas it is enveloped in ignorance it is enveloped in total delusion that which enveloped in darkness regards unrighteousness as righteousness regards non ethical as ethical regards immoral as moral and views all things in a perverted way that intellect o partha is tamasic we have to be extremely cautious about this influence of the tamasic buddhi because it can lead us uh, to 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 uh, i mean for, forget about uh, remaining status quo it is just going to put us down and down and down if the tamasic buddhi is elevating us to the level of liberation to the level of moksha if the rajasic buddhi is keeping a status quo coming and going coming and going again and again tamasic buddhi is throwing us into the depths of the ill fated uh, hells into the fate of ill fated uh, hereafter a perverted intelligence is that which regards good as bad and bad as good for the perverted uh, intelligence adharma is dharma so nothing more can be said about it then when that intelligence thinks unrighteousness to be righteousness we can imagine what all that intelligence uh, can do what all that intellect can do a patient refuses to take a prescribed medicine stating that it is not to his taste a very bitter medicine we don't like to take it but we ignore its the 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 beneficial effect on our health we we ignore the effect of its recovery on our illness and we just say oh it is very bad i am not going to take it it is so bitter tasting it is so pungent tasting i just can't even gulp it and below my throat i can't just ingest it i am not going to take it now the what is not to be done is Uh, uh considered to be right and what is to be done is considered wrong taking a medicine whether it is bitter or sweet whether it is pungent whether it is sour if that medicine has to make uh, 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 any improvement in our health system we have to take it but our 
intellect, about that tamasic intellect tells us, I am not going to take the medicine. Instead, I am going to eat 10 rasgullas, I am going to eat 10 cakes, I am going to eat 10 chocolates. Now what will happen in that case? That is absolutely contrary to what we are ought to do. So we have no control over what is to be done and what is not to be done. We understand everything in the wrong perspective. Because the medicine is bitter, I am not going to take it. We are not allowing the medicine to help us recover by avoiding taking that medicine. So, <clears throat> there are grown up people who think that industry is purposeless and that life of ease and repose is prudential. There are people. There are people of the Tamas uh, Pravrati that, why work? And Sri Krishna has told us how, how those people, they are so expert in procrastinating. They are so expert in avoiding doing the work. This is what happens. The, 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 the uh, 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 performing their duties also is pain for them. Performing, forget about the righteous. Even the unrighteous duties also they won't perform. They hold that the hard working ones do not know the joy of quietism. These are again the, again the perverted views. They feel sitting quiet, doing nothing is the one most wonderful thing. If somebody is meditating, they try to imitate that person. But they don't realize to what a progress that person is meditating, meditating although sitting idle, doing nothing. That person is internally evolving himself or herself by meditating. Now this tamasic uh, uh, intellect doesn't understand. Tamasic intellect only sees that person is sitting quiet. Oh, such a wonderful thing. I will also do it. But that doesn't take that person to any state of higher levels, to any state of evolution. It appears to them that the study of Vedanta and the practice of it may take place in the evening of life. They say, we will do it when we get old. And then when the old age comes, then then the, the, that uh, abhanga, hmm, then that uh, 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 doha hmm, of now you have lost all the time. When will you do it? Hmm, that beautiful uh, 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 teaching of uh, that great saint that you have lost the childhood. You, 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 you did not do anything in the wealth. Hmm? Balya vasta has gone. The Kumara vasta has gone. And the old age has come and now you are repentant. Oh my God, I have lost all the time. I have lost all the opportunity to utter. The, now in this old age, hmm, what can I do? I don't have memory to even utter the name of God. That is what happens when the, the, the tamasic type of person starts procrastinating. I will do it later. In the fact end of my life, there is plenty of time for me to do the japa and meditation. So this kind of uh, attitude of wrong perceptions, the wrong understandings, the perverted views. Let me enjoy the life at this moment. But poor fellows, these tamas intellect dominated people, they won't even enjoy. At least rajasic people, for a moment they will enjoy. Because they have to satisfy those selfish desires. For tamas sake, there is no desire also. Some, such a dull, such a lazy, such a uh, good-for-nothing kind of attitude, this tamasic attitude. And then the virtuous appear bad, the vicious good in their eyes. They are confused. There is no good for them. In bad they see good, in good they see bad. So, without the least compunction, they present themselves uninvited to this unfortunate situations. So this is what happens. The tamasic intellect guides people in all these irregular ways. So that is the most unfortunate situation one can end up when this tamasic influence it is at its uh, uh, the most dominant level. That we see start looking, looking at the unrighteous things as righteous things. And we start performing that and we end up in the most unfortunate situation. So now 
with what Sri Krishna has told us about this intellect part, the sattva intellect, the rajasic intellect and the tamasic intellect, the tamasic intellect just drowns us, drowns us to the depths of misfortune, drowns us to the depth of this entanglement. And we make absolutely no effort to get freed from it. For us, for the tamasic endowed uh, intellect, the liberation is something absolutely uncalled for. Like the fish, that example Sri Ramakrishna gave of the Bandhaji, just clutches onto the net and dives deep into the mud at the bed of the uh, that, that water body, saying, I am perfectly okay. Why should I make an effort to get freed from the net? I am safe. There is nothing wrong. It, that is the perverted way of looking at the things. The fellow is caught in the net. The moment the fisherman lifts the net up and pulls out that net onto the ground, he is going to end up. But with that perverted view of considering a dharma to be dharma, no dharma at all for that person. There is no struggle for freedom. There is no struggle for survival also for that matter. Just putting the head into the mud, clutching onto that net, thinking I am safe, I am safe, I am safe. That perverted way of thinking, that most uh, 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 the, the negative way of thinking, that most corrupted way of thinking, everything is good when things are actually bad. And when the others are struggling, others are heading towards good, that is not good for me, I am good here. That way of the tamasic influence can just destroy us on this path of the spirituality, on, the, on this path of liberation. So we have to be extremely cautious about it. Having explained to us the three types of buddhis, now next Sri Krishna is going to tell us, with the grasp of this intellect, how is going to be the firmness of our mind? That again, Sri Krishna says, it is also of three types and that will come in our subsequent readings. Till then, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Sri Krishna Arpanamastu, Jai Sri Ramakrishna, Jai Thakur, Jai Mahal, Jai Swamiji.